told you that we're having an uh, interactive DVD uh, interview for young adults. So the question has to be asked, why are we doing this when, in fact, uh, we're frankly sort of at the other end of the spectrum? Well, the answer is simply this. I've seen this DVD a number of times, and frankly, it's very helpful for seniors as well. I know I learned a lot about cooking and so on from it, and we'll talk more about that later. But first, I want to introduce our guest, Alta Engstrom, who's one of the major reasons why this whole DVD got together. Welcome, Alta Engstrom. Well, thank you, Roland. Thank you for inviting me. You have a very pedigreed background in terms of cooking activity. Tell the viewers where you got all your knowledge about this. Well, I am a nutritionist, dietitian, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then I spent my career at General Mills. I was mm -hmm. the director of, of nutrition. But I think that it's my love of food that mm -hmm. really got me into this project and my philosophy that although I love food, I don't necessarily want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So mm -hmm. my philosophy is really healthy, tasty uh, food that's easy to prepare, easy to clean up, and, and hopefully uh, low cost. If, at least as compared to eating out. So it was a good scene? fit for, it, for the DVD. Uh, so we're gonna show some clips in just a moment to give an idea of what it's all about. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, why don't you give us sort of a background as to the various elements that go okay. into the DVD? Well, first of all, um, I'm not on the DVD. Mm -hmm. It's hosted by two young women, Allison Rusfold, my niece, and her roommate, Molly mm -hmm. uh, Shields. And they're both just gra recent graduates from school, and they um, suddenly realized as they were stepping out into the real world that, oh, we don't know how to cook. <laughs> Especially <laughs> my niece doesn't know how to cook. And, and so um, she said, why don't we do a DVD? And I said, great idea. So what the DVD does, it really has two parts. It's, it's very interactive, as mm -hmm, we said, and mm -hmm. it's uh, because it's visual, so we do step-by-step -step recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner that are tasty and money-saving and, of course, fun and easy to clean up. And then before they can start cooking, um, you have to know how to, how to function in your kitchen. So the first chapter, which is called Getting Started, um, has really two parts as well. And it has um, how, what equipment do you need, how do you set up your cupboard with the staples and your refrigerator? And then we have a quite lengthy segment on grocery shopping. And, and this is where I bring in a lot of my industry experience because we talk a lot about labels. We talk about definitions of things on labels like organic, fortified, light. What do they mean? How much do I buy? Um, how do I pick produce? Um, what about fish? And then I think we're going to do some cooking, aren't we? Absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. the majority of it is about cooking. It's mm -hmm. one hour's so worth of cooking. The point, I, the point I want to make about this is that as seniors, take a look. There's these several elements that are put together in one segment, so it runs a couple of minutes. I think you're going to find a lot of information that's going to be very valuable to you. I know it, I found it very valuable for me. So we're going to take a quick look at it now. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. Before setting up your kitchen, there's a few things to keep in mind. If you're sharing a house or an apartment, it's important to listen to each other's needs in terms of what they eat, who likes to cook, and who wants to learn how to cook. It's also good to plan together and create a kitchen that works for everyone. In this chapter, we're going to show you how to set up your kitchen with the basic equipment, food, supplies, and accessories. We'll also give you shopping tips and things that you can do that will take the hassle out of cleanup. For measuring, it would be good to have two types of measuring cups. One for dry ingredients like flour and sugar, and one with a pouring spout for liquid like cooking oil and milk. You'll also need measuring spoons. It's easy to get confused about the difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon because of the way these spoons may be abbreviated in recipes. For example, a tablespoon can be written TBSP, meaning a tablespoon and TSP means teaspoon. In terms of units, it takes three teaspoons to make one tablespoon. Now let's answer some basic food shopping questions like, how much do I buy? Now, you think buying in bulk is the best money saving alternative, but let's look at perishables. Although the bulk size may be less expensive per serving, it may not always be the best choice if you don't use it all. So let's say if you're gonna use all the bulk produce you buy, then that's the better purchase. But if you're only going to eat enough for one salad and the rest is going to spoil, well, 
and it's your money and your produce going to waste. When it comes to how much fruit and vegetables to buy, such as apples, oranges, green beans, they're usually displayed so you can choose any amount you want. So consider the amount you're likely to eat in the next few days and buy according to how often you want to shop. For two servings, we're going to cook 10 ounces of fresh salmon, about one inch thick. For simplicity, have the butcher remove the skin, like here. And to season the fish, you'll need olive oil, fresh thyme leaves, a lemon, and some salt and pepper. The tools we'll be using include a baking dish, a pastry brush, a timer, a fork, and a spatula. The first step is to preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Next, lightly oil the baking dish and set the salmon in it, like so. Brush the salmon with a little oil and squeeze some lemon on it. Then, sprinkle it with fresh thyme. You could also use dried thyme. And lastly, some salt and pepper. Put it in the oven and bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. The length of time will depend on the thickness. If the fish is thicker than one inch, cook it a little longer. If thinner, obviously check it a little sooner. Did you notice some of the elements that uh, I found uh, very interesting and new for me? I never knew exactly, for example, uh, about expiration dates, how long we could keep them uh, eating them uh, or taking milk and so on. And, and also, uh, I know we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what do you think about health benefits or saving money or uh, well, eating? I think, oh, excuse me. Go uh, ahead. I think that two big benefits of this DVD is that eating at home is just money saving, which for young people is particularly interesting, but also the health benefit. There's mm -hmm. been a lot of research that shows that uh, when you know how to cook and you eat at home, you eat healthier, you have fewer calories, mm -hmm. and you weigh less. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big motivator. Where can we buy it? How much does it cost? Well, glad you ask. <laughs> um, we have a website. It's called www.firstkitchencooks.com. Mm -hmm. It costs $15.95. Mm -hmm. You can order it online, or there's also a toll-free number. Mm -hmm. And you know, we think, as we said earlier, this is a great gift. I mean, for a housewarming, graduation, holidays coming up for your children or your grandchildren or. Anyone that needs some basic cooking. And uh, it's just come out now, hasn't it? So yes, that the just idea this of the week. gift, it'll be a, hey, it's just come yeah, out. Here's it's, a gift. It's brand new. Terrific. That's just great. Thank okay. you very much. Talking to Alda Engstrom, and we're talking about First Kitchen Interactive DVD.